Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Summer in the Bahamas here at Cameron House Marina. I'm Ruben, the sales manager at Marine Sales Scotland, and this is a 2005 Cruisers 280CXI, powered by twin Volvo Penta D3 160 horsepower diesel engines. Supplied by us brand new, having sparingly been running fresh water exclusively, she bears all the telltale signs of a well-maintained, well-structured and robust vessel, with cruisers yachts in particular being renowned for their quality workmanship. A large extended swim platform at the back bears a grab rail for those swimming in the water. A double fender basket keeps the deck clutter free and there are two filler caps on both port and starboard for each independent fuel tank. Without further ado, let's look inside. So the cockpit is very well seated for five here, two, three, and then another two up at the, the double helm. You can remove the table if you want to maximise floor space. Living underneath there are your twin D3 160 horsepower turbo diesel engines. The carpets are in very nice condition. They are removable if you are planning a weekend of water sports, you've got the pets on board, you can unclip them, just bare GRP underneath, and you can actually put these in the washing machine as well. Now the radar arch does a very good job of giving the canopy somewhere to fix onto. You can see if you look at the way that the canopies and sections, you can clip or unzip each section and leave this up as a bimini if you want to do that in the summertime. But the main thing to sort of take on board right now is we're, we're right in the middle of Storm Eunice, and we are 100% leak free. That is very, very big in the UK. I'm sure a lot of you will have the experience of canopies leaking on you. It's not fun at all. We've got storage down on both of these sides. We've also got one speaker. There's another one through there. There's a stereo, a stereo system with a CD player here as well. We've got cup holders. And then just where we are on the port side, we'll go into here, the transom hot and cold shower. Now, as I said, if you want, if you have these canopies off, sorry, if you have these carpets out, you can just use that to rinse down the deck. Keeps it nice and simple. This is marine vinyl. It is very nice. It's cream. Typical cruiser's yachts fashion. And let's take two little steps up to the helm position. So you get a nice elevated view here, especially out over the bow. Now up top there is a remote controlled spotlight and you also have an electric anchor winch. Now notice the angle of the bow as well. It isn't very steep. So that means it's safe enough for you to get two or three towels out. The kids can go out there and play. You've got guardrails all the way around that are nice and safe. Access is by the windshield splitter right here. Now the helm position, very comfortable. Double helm with twin backrests. I like that. We then have a Garmin GPS map. That's a plotter and, uh, and obviously a GPS as well. We've got that remote controlled spotlight here. Electric trim tabs, electric anchor winch, bilge pumps. And then we've got our VHF with DSC as well. Engine instruments. And then these twin throttles and they are cable as well, not electronic. Electronic is just one more thing to go wrong and when you need to fix them, it's very, very costly. Loads of headroom if you are uh, the opposite of vertically challenged. And just loads of space, really bright and airy. Canopies are good, perspex is good. Let's take a little look downstairs. They are huge down here. Right. Listen to that. Oh, horrific. No need for the transom shower today. So just uh, at the entrance down, we've got our stereo. We've also got reverse cycle air conditioning. Perfect for summer and those winter months. Now down here is very, very cozy. Must admit, very clean as well. We've got the, the oatmeal upholstery finished with the cherry joinery. Very, very American. Carpets are in good condition. We've got things of stereo speakers here, so it's nice for entertaining. This will also drop down to form another berth. I'll show you that momentarily. Now at the aft, we do have a very large double. You've got shelf storage up there, and then up the back there is more shelf storage, and there is also a vent for the onboard reverse cycle AC. Now you can close that over with a curtain. It's a nice area to put the kids to bed and get them settled for the evening. Off in here, we have the head, and you can really feel that the boat has been very sparingly used, especially by the condition of everything down here. They build these quite tall, and that's what gives you over six feet worth of headroom. And then they are also very well equipped. So it comes with a microwave oven. You've also got a single electric hob. Just in here, next to the champagne bucket, we've got 
a wet area so this is drained into this area underneath here you can also remove that if you want to use it as a worktop stainless steel hot and cold sink with a dishwasher unit here heaps of storage above the galley to the side and also underneath the sink now what do we have in the fridge freezer is it something nice not too shabby perfect that will keep all your perishable goods nice and cold for the weekend very smart design here the way they've angled the hull and they've put the berth underneath the back here in the heads compartment we've got an electric quiet flush toilet and this has a waste tank you can also just macerate this and pump it out to sea should you need to we've got as well if i turn it on oh that was lights an extractor fan so that means once someone has been in here to use the shower which just pulls out and clips on there you pull the curtain across it takes away any of the moisture because there's nothing worse than when your head is absolutely soaking for, for at least a full day after you've used the shower so that is a nice little convenient touch now up at what has to be the master berth you can pull a curtain across and notice how that comes other side of the TV so you can lie in bed in the morning with the curtain closed and catch up on homes under the hammer. Up at the top behind the mirror we do have um, a little bit of storage but also there is access to the electric anchor winch motor. So a very nice clean tidy cruiser down here. Lots of space for a family, perfect for weekending. And you know you could really just picture yourself sat here for the weekend out on a mooring or, or somewhere maybe for example somewhere I'd always love to go is Millport on the west coast of Scotland you can just tie up there and then row into to the village but before we head up and take a little look at the engines we can drop this down and that actually turns into another berth so drop down is perfect I've actually just had a thought when I'm sat down here and that it is very much like uh, it's larger or it's cousin the cruiser 320 express not a lot of differences actually when you compare the two obviously the cruiser is four four five foot bigger and demands a much heftier price tag but very much a, a similar layout in fact I actually prefer this because on the cruisers you've got a settee up the back that converts into a bed it's not as comfortable this in my opinion is a is a much better option right finally let's run through the lazarette and the engines in there she's powered by twin Volvo Penta D3 160 horsepower turbo diesel engines incredible how they can get 160 horses into something so small and tight now these can be tuned up to i think they now make a d3 220 so at 160 horsepower the engines are really not working overly hard so they've got a lot of life left to give now also because these are well they've only been used in the fresh water you don't have any of the significant wear and tear issues that you get with uh, some salt water boats I'm also stood in the lazarette, which as you can see is very, very large. So you can use this dinghy tender, you can also use it uh, as storage or an off license if you want to keep your crates of beer down here. Also, we've got twin tube heaters here, which yes, they keep the engine bay nice and warm during the winter, but I'm sure the heat that comes off them, you could probably roast your turkey down here at Christmas time as well. So the last Cruisers 280 that we had in stock sold within 15 minutes of it touching the water here at Cameron House Marina. Um, they're the same price as a Bayliner 285, you've got twin diesels in this rather than a single petrol so I really can see why they are so popular. Um, all our contact details and the link to the advert on the website is available in the description here in the video. Um, please give us a call. I'm Ruben from Marine Sales Scotland, we're fun in the water, begins.